Welcome back, boaters, to another boating broadcast. We are here in person. In Kelly, person. good hey, to see you. Are you real? Is this is this like real? We're real. We're real. <laughs> awesome. Welcome back, boaters. Welcome to From the Helm Boating Broadcast with Marine Max, bringing you the latest news and notes in the world of boats. Yes, uh, I, we are celebrating our 100th episode in our brand new studio. Yep. So shout out to the team at Marine Max Clearwater for letting us use the space. Speaking of which, yes, we are, as you can see behind us, beautiful Marine Max Clearwater in Clearwater, Florida. So there's boats on the ground down there. It's super exciting. <laughs> yes, and today we're gonna bring you a bunch of boating headlines. It's yep. been a while since we, we've been with you, so we wanted to cover a lot of bases today. Kelly, can you give the folks uh, just a little snippet of what they can expect? Definitely, definitely. So uh, I don't know if you can see outside right now, Lisa, but it is hot out there and so are the boats. So <laughs> boats are hot is our first topic. We're gonna be talking about some boats that are available and exciting things. Uh, also trade-ins and in-stock inventory. So, hey, if you got a trade-in, stop on by, we'll take it. Uh, Azmit in Rob Report. So I don't know if you guys checked that Rob Report lately, but there's a ton of really cool yachting content all the time. Lately, there has been some cool stuff on the new Azmit. I'm not gonna say just yet, but Ooh. it's a big one. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna be wrapping up headlines talking about Conor McGregor. He was recently in a big fight. I think uh, it was pretty uh, unfortunate was for him, but epic to say the least. Uh, and uh, he uh, recently purchased a new boat. It's a Lamborghini boat. So you Boating definitely wanna Lamborghini. check that out. Definitely wanna check that out. Well, again, thank you so much for tuning in with us. If you love boating broadcasts, please be sure to share with your friends and family. Hit mm -hmm. that share button, hit that like button, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. What more do you want to know about boats? We'll go yeah. find the information and bring it to you because that's what our job is. And guess what, Lisa? Guess what? What? We have our field correspondent, Mr. Landon DeGraff, out at the Aquila Rendezvous <gasps> oh, that's down right. at South Seas. So he's going to be bringing you some really cool information about the, the event going down down there. It's a sea of Aquilas at this event. It's insane. So I don't know if you had an opportunity uh, to be there. Uh, if you did, good lucky you. Yeah. Uh, but we're here in, of course, the Marine Max Clearwater store. So yeah, lots more to talk about. Let's get started. Absolutely. And if you are joining us on a podcast for our audio only listeners, if you'd like to see what you're listening to today, you can go to marinemax.com, mm -hmm. click on that lifestyles button, and you can find more information about From the Helm Boating Broadcast and our sister podcast, Boating Tips Live with Captain Keith and Captain Nick. Tons of information coming to you if you want to know about boats. Yeah. And speaking of Captain Nick, he's actually down at the event too, the yeah. Marine Max uh, Aquila Rendezvous down at South Seas Island Resort. So, I mean, that guy knows everything everything there is to know about Aquila boats. That's true, yeah. It's gonna be good stuff. So we'll check in with Landon a little bit later, but first, in the headlines, in as the headlines. Kelly mentioned, yes. boating is hot. So not only literally is it hot outside, <laughs> but boats continue to fly off the uh, shelves. The proverbial shelves. <laughs> the proverbial yeah. shelf. Um, and we're gonna start with uh, this beautiful Nautique, Super Air Nautique G23, located at Marimax Sail and Ski in Austin. I don't know if you've had an opportunity to check out the Marimax Sail and Ski location over in Austin, but amazing store a ton of boating around the area. I mean, yeah. we're, we're so used to all this like ocean water and stuff like that, but they have the lake water. They have uh, uh, Lake Austin, I believe. I had an opportunity to be mm -hmm. there a couple of years ago and it's just an amazing place, especially for ski boats and wake boats. So this GS22 is a beautiful boat for that location. Yep, in stock, ready for a good home, ready for you to get out on the water and, and start uh, wake skirting it up. Wakes, yeah, <laughs> for sure. They also have a great wake surf contest that's going on right now all, all the way through uh, October actually it's called mm -hmm. barrel boss yes uh, which is really cool they've got some virtual components so if you are in the yeah. the Austin area you can check that out mm -hmm. uh, we'll drop links in our uh, film notes from today's broadcast so you can check that out as well yeah and Nautiques I mean they're they're perfect for anywhere I mean here in Clearwater Florida it's a great boat to have up in Minnesota I mean a perfect boat for mm -hmm. uh, you know Lake Minnetonka and of course over here in Lake uh, Austin or the Austin area uh, there is a, a ton of GS22 territory down there so yeah I always that colorway too Lisa I mean that's that's kind of my style right there what do you think of that I do like that that's really sleek I love the uh, the monochromatic look yeah makes that t-top pop and it's pretty cool because like that location also doesn't just have 
boats, but they have boating gear and yeah. also like winter gear too. If mm -hmm. you ever want, you know, some snowboard. Sail and ski. Sail and ski. Yep, for sure. Well, you'd think it'd be like ski boats, but it also is snow ski too. Yes, and absolutely. So cool stuff there. Yes. All right. And if you're actually, if you own a boat and you were thinking about trading in and trading up this summer, it's a great opportunity to do that now. Yep. A lot of the stores will work with you so you can continue to boat in the boat you own currently while you wait for your next boat, your 2022 to arrive. Mm -hmm. So we'll again, drop in some links about trade-ins, frequently asked questions. So if you're looking to upgrade, trade in, trade up, uh, maybe just trading in uh, and winterizing for the season. Uh, not now, obviously. Let's wait till the end of August. <laughs> yeah. uh, get you get that last uh, couple of weeks of boating in before it starts to snow in the in the Midwest. Oh, <laughs> you know for what that's sure. about. Um, so okay, let's 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 keep moving. That yeah. was a uh, wake surf boat, of course. Um, you know, there are a ton of different options when it comes to boating. Yeah. Uh, fishing is huge. And obviously there's a bunch of different fishing brands, Boston Whaler, Scout, Sailfish. Sailfish, yeah. So uh, this boat is here at Marine Max uh, Summers Point, not here, at Marine Max Summers Point up in New Jersey. And uh, they have uh, quite a few uh, of the Sailfish models up there. Um, beautiful boats. I've seen quite a few on the waterways around here. And I, I'd have to say, I mean, I've been up there. That is a great boat to have for that particular location. I mean, look. Look at all the uh, the rocket launchers up top for all your fishing poles. <laughs> I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just on top right there alone. So, I mean, if you're a, a hardcore fisherman or you're a fisherman that just wants to have some fun on the weekends with the family too, uh, you got you got to check out the sailfish brand. Yes, That's a lot beautiful. of great sailfish is available. Um, this one, like Kelly said, at Marine Max Summers Point. Mm -hmm. uh, get down to MarineMax.com. You can check out available inventory that's ready for immediate delivery or within the calendar year. So you can still, uh, you know, get a new boat that you've been eyeballing. Yeah. Uh, always good to, uh, you know, just get that process started if you're thinking about upgrading because of the market that's so hot right now. Yep. If you're if you're thinking about making a change, thinking about upgrading, or just thinking about starting your adventures in boating, mm -hmm. now is a good time to start that conversation. Yeah, I think you brought up a good point too, is, you know, in the past it was always, um, hey, let's go look for boats in inventory and see them that are sitting there. Now it's more, let's do our research online. Let's find mm -hmm. the boat that we want. I mean, Marine Max has a ton of information our manufacturers, Sea Ray, Boston Whaler, you name it, they have a ton of information online to kind of make an educated decision on what boat you're looking for. And once you're ready, you can talk to Marine Max and they'll basically be like, okay, what boat do you want? Yeah. Get it ordered, wait for it next year. And in the meantime, if you have a trade-in, hang out on your boat for a little while until it's time to trade in, trade up to something new. There you go. All right, let's move on to something a little bit bigger. Okay, we're, we're moving up, we're moving up. Uh, we're moving up. up. This is the 2021 Galleon 425 HTS. Yes. Uh, a beautiful, I love Galleon. Galleon is amazing, and uh, I mean, I would say, as Derek Zoolander once said, the <laughs> versatility of the Galleon boats. I mean, each one has its own flavor. No matter what you're looking for with a yacht or even uh, some outboard boats now, uh, I'm sure you've seen the GTO. Yeah. Um, but they have a flavor for everyone. This particular boat, the, the 425 HTS, it, it checks a lot of boxes for me personally. I mean, uh, beautiful swim platform there, mm -hmm. a ton of walk around space, uh, a really nice area just to hang out. And of course, tons of open, uh, let's see if I can find an image of the inside too, just a ton of sunlight coming in all those windows. So when you're out on the water hanging out and you might not wanna be roasting in that hot sun, yeah. you have an opportunity to get out of that in a, a 425 HTS with the air conditioning. Yep, yeah, and that's a great point, Kelly. Uh, I love, I love being outside. Mm -hmm. I love being outside, but at some point, you know, sometimes the weather turns bad and starts raining or it gets cold, yeah. but getting a break in the AC is really nice too. And you can get the best of both worlds with this, the 425 HTS. Yeah. I, I've talked to, a, I've spoken with some European boaters and they're always like, what is it about these Americans that want their, <laughs> the their <AC>. air conditioning <laughs> all the time? And I'm like, I don't know if you've been to Florida, but it gets a little hot, you know, it's uh, just saying, but it is beautiful just to be in a, in a, a location like a 425 HTS and just hanging out, you know, relaxing. And uh, if you want to go, you know, out back and, and hang out and on the swim platform or something, you can do so. 
Yeah, great boat. This one available at Marine Max Clearwater right now. Um, Do I see it out there? I know. I think it might be right there. We, we might be able to see it. That's kind of cool. We'll go check yeah. that out a little bit later. Oh, for sure. We'll put that on the Christmas list. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, that's a good idea. And of course, you know, I think that that's becoming one of my favorite segments is the, uh, the list of gifts too. So oh, yeah. you have to stay tuned for some of our holiday episodes. I feel like it's uh, right around the corner here, Lisa. I mean, it's July, August, but it's like, you know, we're getting I know. Like halfway it, through the year. It'll be Thanksgiving, Christmas before you know it. Uh, yeah. That's for sure. Cool. All right. So we're going to move a little <laughs> bit up in length here and take a look at this beautiful Hatteras 80 motor yacht. So this is actually a mm -hmm. 2011. It's pristine, which is, I mean, it's fantastic. So Obviously, you got a boat that size. You're taking good care of it. A 10-year-old boat uh, at this point. Um, yeah, I mean, from the images, and I'm sure uh, if you see it in person, you can definitely attest to how, how great of uh, it is in, in terms of this, the overall mm -hmm. fit and finish uh, after 10 years of, of being in service. But, I mean, that would be... I mean, look at the amount of space you'd have on that boat to hang yeah. out. I mean, the flybridge in itself is just massive. Um, and if you're looking, I mean, maybe you're in like a 60, 70 footer, you were looking to upgrade. This mm -hmm. might be a perfect opportunity to step into an 80 footer for a really great price. Um, and you can help, uh, you know, the brokers at Marine Max will help you figure out, you know, what do you do with your current boat? Mm -hmm. Help you survey this one, uh, check it all out, you know, check out hours, maybe even help you make some upgrades to, mm -hmm. you know, to the existing layout or existing finishes that you say, okay, I would really like this, but I wish it had X, Y, Z. They'll help you out and make sure that that's kind of part of the package when you get take delivery of it. Yeah, um, you, you kind of made me think, you mentioned, you know, if you're coming from something a little bit smaller, and I dare say smaller in this category, but um, I mean, Hatteras in themselves, they have those beautiful GT boats that you can also, you know, you can fish the heck out of them, but you can also just relax with the family on yeah. those 50, 60 footers. If you do want to kind of take the plunge into something more motor yacht-esque, uh, something a little bit larger, I mean, what better way than a 2011 pristine condition Hatteras yeah. uh, to get that started? And uh, yeah, I mean, especially a when, when boats are, are tough to be had in, in many ways these days, I mean, this is a, a great way to, to enjoy the boating lifestyle aboard your, your Hatteras. Yeah, I would definitely not mind having lunch on the back of that. Look at that. Yeah, and let's just check a couple of the interior images too, because I mean, uh, you know, when, you, when you're talking about just, I mean, that in itself, I don't know if you've it's been gorgeous. aboard a, a G, you've been aboard a G yeah. Hatteras. I mean, it, it kind of looks like that too. Yeah. I mean, you have that same styling on the interior of uh, some of the other uh, Hatteras lineup too. So be sure to check that one out. I'm sure uh, Mr. Scott Robertson can certainly help you out with that <laughs> one, right? Um, and, yes. uh, and And get started on your journey. Yeah, great vessel. Uh, let's move up a little bit more in length. Let's talk about uh, this gorgeous Ocean Alexander 100 motor yacht. Uh, I think we're going in that direction with this beautiful 2020 Ocean Alexander 100 motor yacht. Oh, yes. I had to use my yacht voice for that. I, <laughs> motor yacht. Uh, you have to at this point, I mean, because you're kind of reaching some, uh, you know, different territory in this uh, 100 motor yacht from Ocean Alexander. It can, is certainly one of those boats. Um, I mean, look at that. Think about that parked out back here, uh, your beautiful tropical estate. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, definitely would not mind having uh, breakfast aboard that on the on the top, on the flybridge. Yep. Just checking out sunsets and sunrises. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Yeah, and of course, you know, Ocean Alexander, we've done quite a lot with them, uh, just kind of reaching out to them at boat shows and, and a great team over there. And uh just great design all around for the Ocean Alexander lineup. And, and they kind of have something for everybody. You know, if you want True. the motor yacht, you can go that route. If you want the, the R, you know, the 27R or something like that, you can certainly go that route and get a completely different, more innovative experience. Um, there's a lot of different avenues you can go. But, I mean, personally, I do like this kind of seafaring, yes. you know, kind of a traditional look to their yacht, like this 100. Yeah. I think I would name it COVID fund <laughs> because it's a 2020. Like I didn't really spend a whole lot of money in 2020. I, yeah. you know, kind of bankrolled some of yeah, most sure. of my money. You know, you're not going out, you're not going to concerts. Everything was kind of canceled. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's a good way of putting it is like, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are just like, <laughs> you know what, I'm going to stash it away this year and next year, 2021, 
hey, I'm going to get a great opportunity to, to get a board in Ocean Alexander, maybe stash, stash a few, you know, under yeah. the floorboards or something like that for your 100. Yeah. And if you're, if you're in this, uh, this range, if you're mm -hmm. getting up into the 80, 100, like bigger range, there's also like charter uh, opportunities. Mm -hmm. You can enter into a charter fleet to help you kind of offset some of those costs. Mm -hmm. um, if you're comfortable with sharing your yacht with other people, it's a great way. Airbnb style, kind of like similar, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just a different way to boat where, I mean, you know, you Usually, if you're at this this level, you you're pretty busy. You know, you don't have time true, true. unless you're retired, which is also a beautiful <laughs> thing. Uh, you know, you, you have a little bit more time. But if you're a busy person, you're like, hey, I want to uh, you know own an Ocean Alexander 100 point. motor yacht, but I don't want to sit there and deal with the upkeep all the time in terms of costs. You can kind of offset those costs with getting somebody else aboard. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure at that point, you know, you, you're probably dealing with some some pretty cool individuals that'll yeah. be hopping aboard too. And uh, you know, they'll take it out. And, uh, and and of course, you know, you have the crew and Marie Max can get you set up with the captain yep. and crew and everybody keep your boat as pristine as you left it the last time. Uh, but you know, take it to some beautiful spots. I think yeah. this is in the Bahamas here. I mean, they, they can go to the Bahamas, they can go to, um, you know, some places in the Caribbean, I'm sure, or of course, of course. just around Florida. Absolutely. And we work with Fraser Yacht Management to help you with all of that. If you're looking for a crew, you just need a captain, mm -hmm. um, you, whatever you're looking for, we have a whole group of great people at Fraser that'll help you, you know, navigate all that. Yep. Pun intended. We got you covered is what you're saying, basically. <laughs> like, no matter what you're looking for, uh, you know, in your, your world of yachts, uh, we can certainly help you out. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So let's move on. We looked at some gorgeous yachts yep. online, and that's a great way to do it is start your shopping online, but boat shows. Boat shows. What's going on with boat shows this year? Where can I see boats in person? Yep. And that's a great question. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for one, obviously stop by your local Marine Max, because as I say, each and every week or month, uh, you know, we have boat shows going on every day of the week week here mm -hmm. at Marine Max. Um, even when the inventory is a little low, we still have boats. Uh, so if you want to see the latest sure. from Sea Ray, Boston Whaler, you name it, Azimut Yachts, uh, Ocean Alexander, depending on, you know, what's in inventory or not, but we can certainly get you set up and, and check out all the beautiful boats we have uh, here at our stores. But... Boat shows. There boat are shows. boat shows that are taking place. Uh, there's some cool stuff coming up. What do we got coming up, Lisa? I mean, from Annapolis, Maryland to Fort Myers, Florida, you've got some local boat shows happening. Mm -hmm. So uh, marinemax.com under the events tab, there's actually a boat show section. Mm -hmm. You can check out there or, you know, our good old friend Google. Google will pull up boat shows near me. It'll let you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, or you can connect with uh, your favorite Marine Max sales consultant if you got a buddy uh, to help you build your dream boat virtually, which has become quite popular mm -hmm. uh, just with limited inventory and knowing that you're going to have to wait a little bit some, in some cases that you can customize. Yeah. You, you, don't, you like the floor model, but you wish it were teal with a white, uh, you know, <laughs> canvas top. You can order that now. She saw a boat back here I did. And, and she fell in love with it immediately. She's like, look at that teal. I want that. And I'm like, that it's is gorgeous. pretty sweet. Sea Ray. It's beautiful. It's at Marine Max Clearwater if you want to <laughs> check it out. <laughs> yeah. And um, you did mention, I mean, you know, you have boat shows in person, so you can walk the docks, you can see this stuff. And you can also, uh, it gives you the ability uh, both at the shows or if you want to, um, you know, from the comfort of your own home, check out uh, the website where we can kind of walk you through some of those boats. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the immersive experiences too, oh. where you can actually actually tour all the latest boat models uh, from Galleon, from Aquila Boats, and a whole lot more. So basically what we're saying there is you have, op you have options. For I sure. mean, if you want to go to the show, you definitely, there's a ton of shows going on. I see some stuff coming up here for the Galleon GTO first look tour, which is also true. cruising around the country. <laughs> um, and of course, you know, some of the big shows are coming up here in the next uh, few months and uh, towards the end of the year with flips too. Yep, absolutely. So we'll keep you updated on what's going on boat show wise, yep. uh, constantly moving targets, constantly changing inventory, but mm -hmm. we're excited to be back. It's always fun to walk the docks and have a cocktail and, and talk, t talk boats. Yeah. Who doesn't like that? <laughs> Kick some holes. Kick some tires. Yeah. Kick some tires. I remember Boston Whaler used to have, uh, it wasn't it like yeah. a little advertising campaign like kick here or something? Pound on the hull. Yeah, that's what it was. It was kind of like yeah. that kicking the tires style there. So. so you could actually hear how it was Unibond, I think, right? Is, is, yeah. That's Boston Whaler's Unibond construction where it's, it's solid, hence the unsinkable legend. And we had the opportunity a few years ago to go check out the Boston Whaler factory and 
tap a few hulls ourselves when they were being built. And man, I cool. tell you, it is amazing, those boats. Uh, yeah. just, just the process of having them built is insane. So. That is pretty cool. All right. All right. And we're, we're flipping gears here. Mm -hmm. uh, Rob Report, very, very well known for yep. talking about some cool stuff. Cool stuff. And one of those things is the new Azimut Grande Tridec. And you know, as the days progress, the weeks progress, the months progress, we're learning more and more about this uh, flagship of the Azimut lineup here, the 125 Tri-Deck. Uh, I don't believe it's here in the States just yet. It's still sitting in beautiful Italy somewhere, I'm sure just, uh, you know, everybody's basking in its glory, but it is just an amazing looking new boat from Azimut. And you know, you talk about flagships, you think of, of boats, you think of, you know, cars especially mm -hmm. too. There's always that top of the line, it's got everything, and then that trickles down to everything else below that. So think of that with Azimut. You know, everything that's in this 125, a lot of that's going to start trickling down to all the other boats in the lineup from Azimut right. uh, in the future. So uh, you have to check this boat out. Just just the images uh, in, in some of the information on it. It's just an amazing boat. Yeah, and they're really, really well known for their design and their design cues. Like, nothing is just done you know, out of nowhere. There's mm -hmm. always a purpose for it. Um, you'll see some really high-end names uh, noted in this article who de design exterior, interior furnishings, the hull. Mm -hmm. So everything is very purposeful when it comes to an azimuth. And it's it's so fun to talk to them about it because they do talk to you with that Italian flair. <laughs> and, the and accent. You know, every, yeah. everything is seriously, it's purposeful. And and look at the uh, transom of that, that yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. Well, and uh, if you've ever spoken with the team at azimuth, you know, they, they their designers in uh, both interior and exterior are extremely important to the what makes an azimuth an azimuth. And Alberto Mancini, I know, has been a big part of azimuth, uh, the design for the exteriors for a while. Achille Silvani is also, <laughs> um, you know, well huge. Done. Thank you very much. I think I have a, I have some Italian Nailed blood. So. Nailed it. Um, but Achille Silvani uh, designed interior, so you're going to get uh, a lot of his, uh, all of his uh, kind of inner workings in this boat. Mm -hmm. um, Lisa, can you try naming a no. Pier Luigi Alcionio? I, I don't know. I think you Probably nailed it. Pretty close. Uh, designed the hull for this boat, um, but there's yeah. just so many cool things about it. Check out the videos. <laughs> there's some really cool videos on both Marie Max's website or YouTube channel, and also Azimut Yachts YouTube channel, right. where you can see this thing in action. Now they're calling that the Sea View Terrace, and it says it's 322 square feet. Mm -hmm. That's and where that's you can find sea me. view. So basically what they're saying is you have 322 square feet of actual view of wherever you are in the world, which is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous boat. And, and this is, this is, these are my favorite shots here, by the way. Um, seeing Ooh. it from the top where you have just basically, where can I lay down? Where can see, I lay down? Where can again, I lay down? and that's where you see that beautiful design and, and just how well balanced everything is there and yep. how well they use all of the spaces and social zones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, think of having a party on that boat, right? I, I mean, you could have, have to. countless people. I don't know how many people, but <laughs> a lot. I probably wouldn't have anybody if it was my boat. I'd Just be like, you. <laughs> I don't want anybody to tip anything over in this beautiful boat, but um, yes. Ah, it could be you and Carla to just play hide and seek. Yeah, Where yeah. are you? Exactly. Oh man, there's so many cool places to just hang out for sure. It's, a, <laughs> it's definitely a dream. So if you're learning or if you'd like to learn more about the um, uh, Azimut 125 Tri-Deck, uh, all new from Azimut, check out marinemax.com or marinemaxyachts.com yep. or of course Azimut's website too or, or of course the YouTube channels where you can find more. <laughs> Google. And of course boat shows where I believe <laughs> I did hear that they, uh, depending on shipping and everything, they're going to try to get it over here for the, the Fort Lauderdale show this year. Oh so yes please. Check that out. We'll attempt to do an interview on that. If it's here, do you I think? think so? I think so. Yeah, maybe uh, if you know the, the hotels are all booked, I think we could just stay on the 125. <laughs> we'll see. Excellent. All right, I like this plan. Yeah. All right, and uh, last but not least, we yes. could not not mention this. So <laughs> if you don't to. follow uh, UFC, it is a fighting. So some people might not, um, but most people know who Conor McGregor is. Yeah. He dominates headlines with his interesting tactics and uh, potty mouth, but. <laughs> 
He bought a Lamborghini 63 Motorrad and was showing it off on uh, the social medias. So we had to bring it up and, and talk mm -hmm. about this because it's gorgeous. Yeah, this is a definitely a, a different boat. And of course, you know, you think of Conor McGregor. He's he's a flashy dude and he's got some some cool stuff and definitely yeah, uh, it looks cool. Yeah, and, and he posted I think on his Instagram channel to that he uh, recently acquired or picked up his new uh, Lamborghini uh, mm -hmm. motor yacht, 63 motor yacht. Uh, it has dual V12 uh, man diesel engine. And uh, which make a total of four thousand horsepower. So um, that's a lot. It's a. It has to it's be adequate. It's a Lamborghini adequate. boat, so True. I think it has to definitely uh, live up to that name for sure. Right. Okay. Um, so you have to check this out. I mean, Rob Report has a really good article on it. Um, you can check out, of course, Conor McGregor's uh, Instagram channel where he has a few you know, images of this particular boat. Wow. But, yeah, I, I would say that they definitely nailed the, the Lamborghini look, um, both inside and out with this one. Yes. Uh, it definitely has that flair, that Italian look, and just a beautiful boat. Yeah, carbon fiber superstructure, which allows it to hit top speeds of 60 knots. Yep. One of the fastest 63 footers in its class. So, you know, I gotta go fast. If you're not first, you're last. If you're not first, you're last. And uh, You I know, did... I would not hate rehabbing a reconstructed ankle on a boat like that. I just spend, you know, whatever, however many months it takes to, to heal bones, let's just spend it on a yacht. Yeah, I think that that was Conor McGregor's idea was, you know, I'm a little banged up right now. I might, uh, you know, purchase this beautiful new Lamborghini boat and uh, just hang out for a little while on the rehab. Yep, not a bad way to spend rehab. Definitely not. <laughs> and uh, shout out to Conor McGregor with his beautiful new Lamborghini 63 motor yachts yes. uh, made by Technomar with, uh, I think there is some sort of a, uh, uh, relationship there with Lamborghini themselves. So super cool boat there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's awesome. We brought you a ton of different boats to talk about today. Uh, oh, yeah. Just wanted to make sure we covered the gamut of all the different uh, available models. Uh, obviously, trading in is hot right now, um, and boat shows will be coming back and around. So mm -hmm. if you're thinking about getting into the boating game, now's the time to start your research. MarineMax.com, ton of information there for you. Mm -hmm. uh, the Marine Max YouTube channel, also chock full of walkthrough videos. We yep. do our best to provide as much information information as possible to help you make the best boating decisions so you can get out on the water hassle-free. Yeah, I think the one thing to take away these days is definitely uh, get the process started sooner rather than later because, you know, a lot of this is customizing your own boat. Mm -hmm. So you want to get your order in so they can start working on your boat and you can get it as soon as possible. Yeah, and then you can get out on the, on the water having great times like the folks down in Captiva, yeah. like Kila Rendezvous happening. So let's flip it over to Landon. Do we have him? I, I Wait, I think I got him. Uh, Mr. Landon McGrath, do we got you down at the uh, Aquila Rendezvous in Captiva Island uh, in Florida? Yeah, guys, I think I can hear you loud and clear. So, yeah, man, I'm here in Aquila Rendezvous. You can see them all lined up here. I'm actually with Captain Nick Pavlakis of Boating Tips Live. How's it going, everybody? So we are on the scene at the Aquila Rendezvous. Let me let me turn this around and give you the view. We have a record number of Aquilas this year at the Aquila Rendezvous. It's in Captiva Island at South Seas island resort but one of the my favorite part about this whole trip is this raft up that we do where we take all, all these boats and we tie them up together and uh, because we had so many groups of uh, boaters this year we had to do two separate lines that you can see but it's a blast wish you guys were here I miss you but uh, you know it's more fun being here than in the office right so uh, so there, there's that there you go back to you guys all right, Landon. Well, thank you very much, sir. Uh, enjoy your time down there. Say hello to Captain Nick of Boating Tips Live, and uh, we'll see you soon, sir. Awesome. Wow. What a great time. That was pretty awesome. And, uh, of course, they are having a great time down there, uh, Captiva Island. You, can, you can't really not have a, a good time down there. I know. Especially aboard an Aquila boat. So have you been to an Aquila rendezvous? I have not been to an Aquila rendezvous. I have been aboard many Aquilas, and I've been to Captiva uh -huh. for other rendezvous. So, I mean, that's the disconnect there. Mr. Landon DeGraff gets to, he, mm -hmm. he, he gets hooked up down there. Yeah, I actually had the pleasure to attend the very first one. I helped with organizing a little bit, so mm -hmm. I, got to, I got to see it. And, you know, when you see a bunch of catamarans lined up, kind of yep. rafted up. Like visually, it is awesome. It's, yeah, amazing. I mean, it's. Uh, I've seen the pictures. <laughs> cool. I've seen the videos. Uh, check out the videos and the pictures if you, you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, getting them all together. I mean, what better way to enjoy your boat 
out on the water, but yeah. with a bunch of people that are like-minded and own a similar boat, too. 100%. Speaking of which, stay tuned for next episode. We will bring you a recap of the Azimut Rendezvous up in Montauk, New York. Uh, I'm going to be heading up there soon, and, and we'll be chatting about that. So you got to stay tuned for that. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. You can expect boating broadcasts once a month, but with a caveat that we might throw some special episodes in there. So sure. if you don't follow Marine Max on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, Spotify, iHeartRadio, get to following. <laughs> yeah, just Google it, Marine Max Boating Broadcast or Boating Tips Live, our, our sister podcast, as we call it, and uh, you get all the latest in boating. Yes. Well, thank you again for joining us. Thanks to Landon. Thanks to Kelly. Good to see you in person. Thanks to Lisa. <laughs> Appreciate it. And yes. uh, thanks to the folks over here at Marine Max Clearwater for our new beautiful digs here. And uh, as always, let's get out on the water. Stay healthy and boat happy. We'll see you next time. See you guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode of From the Helm Boating Broadcast. To keep up with the latest news and notes in the world of boats, be sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and wherever podcasts can be heard. Until next time, we'll see you out on the water.